Although shearing is fundamentally a feat of skill and endurance, a good deal of strength is required in the handling of sheep. The increasing weight of sheep in recent times further adds to the necessity of every shearer to have a good level of strength, particularly those shearers aiming to achieve large tallies. In a day's work, it is not uncommon for a top shearer to handle and drag up to 14 tonnes of sheep weight per day. While some shearers may be naturally very strong, others may need to develop their strength in order to improve work performance. Strength levels vary naturally amongst individuals, but strength is a quality that can be trained significantly. Before we look at strength training methods, it is useful to have an understanding of basic terminology. Maximum strength refers to the absolute strength of an individual. This would be demonstrated in the maximum amount of weight that could be lifted or moved in a single effort. Strength endurance refers to the ability to repeat feats of submaximal strength over an extended period of time. In general, it is strength endurance rather than maximum strength that is of most importance to shearers. In deciding which type of training may be more suitable, several things must be considered. If a shearer has very limited maximum strength, then when shearing sheep of heavy weight, his strength endurance will be reduced simply because moving each sheep represents a higher percentage of his maximum strength, and hence it will be more fatiguing. Therefore, if a shearer feels that he has poor maximum strength, then it may be necessary for him to do some maximum strength training before he considers strength endurance training. This would most likely be the case for a shearer of a lower body weight. There are many types of strength training programs that can be undertaken depending on the needs and available facilities. A traditional strength program would involve the use of external loads provided by dumbbells, barbells and specialised equipment. The fundamental aim is to increase the strength of the individual by gradually increasing the weights lifted over time. Significant strength gains can be made in three to six weeks of training and can continue over many years. A strength session of this type would involve seven to 10 main exercises, with each exercise being performed for two to three sets of eight to 12 repetitions. Generally, a one minute rest will be taken between each exercise set. By allowing full recoveries, a greater focus on developing maximum strength is maintained. This type of training will be conducted at a home gym or commercial facility and should be done two to three times per week. Each session taking 35 to 60 minutes to complete. Due to the time periods involved in maximum strength training and the need for muscle recovery, it would be most suitable to do this type of training during an extended break from shearing. However, once strength gains are made, a single session each week or fortnight will allow most gains to be maintained. A circuit strength training program is designed to specifically improve strength endurance. The resistance is much less than in strength training, but the exercises are performed for a greater number of repetitions and much shorter rest periods are used. Additionally, a circuit strength training program can be performed with little or no specialised equipment. The great benefit of a strength circuit program is that gains will be made in both strength and strength endurance, although the strength gains will be not as high as with traditional strength program. A session will typically consist of 7 to 15 exercises performed one after the other with little or no rest between exercises. Each exercise would be performed for between 10 to 30 repetitions. The whole circuit may be completed one to three times and may take between 25 to 40 minutes. Such a routine may be performed two to three times per week. Exercises should be arranged in a sequence alternating from upper to lower body or alternating between exercises stressing different muscle groups. The exercises may also be designed to reflect specific movements required during shearing. This type of training is suitable for maintaining or improving strength endurance during shorter breaks from work, and gains can be made in a matter of weeks. It may also be suitable for shearers who have good natural strength but lack muscular endurance.